think it's a good example of um, privilege. It seems a bit slippery. I think it's kind of sad. This is the couple at the centre of it all. Rodney Baker, now former CEO of the Great Canadian Gaming Corporation, and Ekaterina Baker, a Russian-born actress. It's believed the pair flew from Vancouver to Whitehorse on January 19th. Two days later, skipping the mandatory 14-day quarantine, the Bakers chartered a flight nearly 500 kilometres away to Beaver Creek, Canada's westernmost community near the Alaska border. That's where they allegedly lined up outside one of these mobile vaccination clinics posing as workers of the local motel. Staff who actually work at the motel are incensed. We live in a community of 80 people. We know who's in our town. They put us all at risk. They thought they had enough money to be able to buy the system. That's the scary part. But the biggest red flag came after the two were immunized. But then as they were leaving they said could they get a lift to the airport? Of course, the vaccine clinic folks said no because they're working to vaccinate people. That's not what they're going to be doing. And, but that sounded very strange to the teams. And after that, officials were tipped off. They went to the airport and found this, this couple uh, boarding a flight to leave the Yukon to, to head back wherever. And, and that's when they got charged. Copies of the tickets show they were charged with two counts each of failing to self-isolate and failing to follow a declaration. Each charge comes with a fine of up to $500 or six months in jail or both. CBC News has reached out to the couple for comment. We haven't heard back. I think they should be ashamed of themselves. Um, they put a community at risk for their own benefit and, and that to me is appalling. BC health officials voicing the frustration felt by many, many who are still patiently waiting their turn to get the vaccine. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.